my amazing Algebra Half students. This is Mrs. A and I love math. Well, I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving break because I certainly did. And I did not get any videos made, but I did have a lot of fun with family and friends. So I hope you did too. And now we're back to business and we're doing Lesson 75 and Powers and Roots of Fractions. Now let's review a little bit. When we have a number that is raised to an exponent, we call that exponent either a power or an exponent. So 3 is the exponent and 2 is the base. And the whole thing is called an exponential expression. And 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2. Now we would call this the expanded form. And we would call this the exponential form. Okay, so here we have 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. We can also have fractions as the base of an exponential expression. So if we had 1 half cubed, that would be the same thing as 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, which would be 1 eighth. So now we're going to practice. Okay, so the first couple of examples, we're going to take one-third raised to the second power or one-third squared. Okay, so when we're doing this, we're going to expand it and it's going to be one-third times one-third or one-third times itself two times and we're going to multiply across the top and get one, multiply across the bottom and get ninth. So one-third squared, or one-third raised to the second power, is one-ninth. Okay, so let's look at this one. One-fourth to the third power is one-fourth times one-fourth times one-fourth. Okay, so I'm just using a different notation. Here I use the little dot in between. Here I'm using parentheses. Exactly the same thing, right? So one fourth times one fourth times one fourth all the way across the top is a one. All the way across the bottom is a 64 because four times four is 16 and 16 times four is 64. Now this one down here is not actually in your book but I wanted to show you this one before we got into the next thing in your book. This is a square root symbol, and I have the square root of 1 over 64. It's kind of tiny. Can you see it? Okay. Now, the square root means what number would I have to square or raise to the second power in order to get 1 over 64? Well, let's think. The number I would square to get 1 is 1, because 1 times 1 is 1. The number I would square to get 64 is 8. So why don't we try 1 8 squared, which is 1 8 times 1 8, and 1 8 times 1 8 is 1 over 64. Therefore, since 1 8 is the number I would square, to get what's underneath the radical, the square root of 1 over 64 is 1 8. Okay, so the answer is 1 8 because 1 8 times 1 8 gives me 64, 1 over 64. So here we come with more examples. All right, so now we're doing the cubic root of 1 over 64. So I have to think what number will need to be cubed to get me 1 over 64. So that's what a cubic root is. It's the number that I would need to raise to the third power to get what is underneath here. So 1 over 4 is my guess. Okay, that's a pretty good guess because I know my powers pretty well. But to check 1 over 4, I'm going to say is 1 over 4 cubed going to give me 1 over 64? Well, 1 cubed would be 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. 
and 4 cubed would be 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. So the answer is 1 fourth because 1 fourth cubed gives me 1 over 64. This one is the square root. If I don't have a number in here, it's always the square root. If I do have a number, like this one, it's the cubic root. So this one is going to be what number will I need to square to get 1? Well, that's still 1. What number will I need to square to get 16? And that would be a 4. So 1 fourth times 1 fourth does give me 1 over 16. So the square root of 1 over 16 is 1 fourth. All right, so here we're doing another cubic root. So we're looking for the number that would need to be cubed to give us 1 over 27, and that would be 1 third, because 1 third times 1 third times 1 third would give me 1 over 27. And since that is true, then the answer is 1 third. Okay, so the cubic root is what number would need to be cubed to give me 1 over 27. And this one is not a cubic root, it's a cube. So all I do is go ahead and multiply by 1 third three times, and that's the expanded form. So 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Uh-oh, that was your first practice problem. I should have let you do that yourself. Here are your last three practice problems, and then we'll be done with Lesson 75. This one was a short one, wasn't it? Okay, so I want you to copy these down on your board and then pause your video. All right, hopefully you did your work. And we're talking about the cubic root the cubic root means what number would I need to cube to get 1 8 Well, I've already done it several times. 2 cubed is 8. So 1 to any power is still 1. And 2 to the third power is 8. So I am proposing that 1 half is the cubic root of 1 8 So to check it, we can just real quickly cube it. 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, so we have the right answer. But that was just to check. The answer to the cubic root of 1 eighth is 1 half. Okay, so here is another one that I hope you did. We're doing the square root because there's no other number in there, so we just always know that it's a 2 if there's nothing there. So we're going to take the square root of 1 is always 1. The square root of 64, you should know that one, is 8 because 8 times 8 is 64. So 1 eighth squared gives me 1 over 64, so I know that the square root of 1 over 64 is 1 over 8. The last problem is just an expansion problem, isn't it? So 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16, and 1 16th is our answer. And we are done with Lesson 75. And this is Mrs. A, and may God bless your day.